Hi guys, this is Pink Paper Blossom and this is my very first YouTube video ever. I'm very, very new to this, so first and foremost, please excuse the lighting. I'm still trying to figure out where to record in my house and what lighting is best. And uh, to top it all off, it's actually night time. I'm sorry about that, but I didn't want this video to linger in my to-do list any longer because I really wanted to share this as my first YouTube video. I'm sorry for the quality, but it will get better. I promise it'll get better. Other than that, I would just like to say that I started crafting or maybe scrapbooking about two to three years ago, but it wasn't until last year, with having spent so much time at home because of COVID, that I really started getting into it properly and I started practicing and discovering new techniques and new things and learning from loads of people here on YouTube. That doesn't mean um, I'm there yet. I'm nowhere near where I'd like to be. I don't really have all the tools I'd like to do all the different things that I like to do, but I've gotten to the stage where I'm quite comfortable and quite happy with my projects. And that's why I decided to start this um, YouTube channel. So I'm gonna show you two different projects today in this video. For both projects, I've used the La La Love collection by Crate Paper, but I've used them in different color combinations and different actual projects for several reasons. One of them, the biggest reason, is that these projects are going to my um, two best friends. One of them is a crafter, one of them isn't. So I'm trying to make um, some crafty projects that suit non-crafty people too. But yeah, this is my first um, package. This is going to my non-crafty friend. So the first one I would like to share with you guys, I'm just gonna move some of these things out so um, I can show you properly. But yeah, sorry if I bang the tripod a little, I'm still learning as I go. But yeah, anyway, I've made her a tag flip. This is my very first tag flip. I'm really happy with it. I made a Christmas project for them that they received back in December and this non-crafty friend really really liked the wrapping and all the little tags that I made for her and she's kept she said absolutely everything to the last sequin in the box so I thought it would be nice to make some tags that she will be able to use in her wrapping. So even though this is a Valentine's Day project, these tags aren't necessarily only for Valentine's Day. I've made them so that she can use them for whoever and whenever. Anyway, let me share this with you. I think this looks really nice. Um, to start off with, well, I've used a big ring, um, rose gold ring. And then I've done this mixture of um, trims. So I've done a silver one. I've done this beautiful blue trim there's like some um lace on it and some velvet trim through it it's really really lovely i don't know if you can see really lovely then just this pom-pom trim and just a black thin sparkly trim but yeah that's my little trim bundle there um and then this is the tag flip so this is the very first tag this comes in the ephemera pack from the La La Love collection. I have reinforced all of them with eyelets because I don't have hole reinforcers. I didn't want the actual holes to rip or anything, not only in this ring, but also when she uses them eventually in her um, presence, I didn't want that to rip. So I've done it with absolutely every single one of them. This is a very simple one. I thought it'd be nice to have it first because it's really sparkly and I've done a little heart, chipboard heart there. Um, but yeah, that's the first one. For the second one, I've done this little cat. I think this is a, this is a cardstock sticker and it, this cat actually had those glasses on, um, drawn, but this is a um, chipboard with the glasses and I thought it looked really nice on the little kitty cat. And then I also use the chipboard that says Amour and the You're Really Cute, um, not sticker, um, ephemera piece. And then I've used some jemmies to finish it off. I think that looks really cute. The next one is this XO one full of hearts, some jemmies. I've changed the color of the reinforcers depending on what matches best. So this one's the pink, this one's red or like burgundy. 
Then it's got a to and from if you want to use it um, for her presence. My next one is this Hugs and Kisses. Oh, also, by the way, I forgot to say, but I don't actually have a... Um, I don't have a die cut machine, so therefore I don't have um, tag dies. So I've kind of cut these in the shape of a tag as I, you know, as I felt like it. Um, no particular shape or, you know, I haven't stuck to one shape. I've just cut them as I thought they would look nice. But yeah, this is the next tag. So I've put some trim here, some pom-pom trim. I made a little rosette and I stuck it. This is actually... One of the things I forgot to do and I realised later, I backed all of these tags with some white cardstock just because some of them came from some papers that some of them were for, the, for, sorry, some of them were from the collection, but others weren't and the actual back of it maybe didn't match the tag flip. So I backed them all up except a few <laughs> that come from the 12 by 12 cut apart sheet. And I forgot to back it up. But anyway, this is the other one. Some more white jemmies, the rosette that I made. Then we've got this one, Forever and Ever. These are some beautiful hearts from one, like the equivalent of our dollar store um, here in Spain. I'm from Spain, actually, guys. I didn't mention that. But yeah, so Forever and Ever, another pom-pom trim, some more enamel dots. And then this time I did the black eyelet again i forgot to pack that up i then used this ephemera piece as a tag i didn't cut it in any particular shape particular shape so because i didn't want to cut off these you know february 14th and exo so i just kept it like this and i put an exo with some thickies a little um this is a foam sticker with one of those hearts again then I did this one here, you're so sweet. I love this piece. Here are some more enamel dots. Then one more, I really love you, you're my number one. This one here, this reminds me of my friend actually. She's not ginger or anything, but she's divine. So it does really remind me of her. But yeah, this is another one, you're my favorite. This one here, hugs and kisses. I love how this um, kind of like hashtag looks on there. Um, and then this is one of the tags that I'm most proud of. <laughs> I don't own a, sew a sewing machine and I don't have a clue how to sew. And this was my very first sewn tag. So I made a really nice, um, oh, sorry for the glare. I made a really nice sequin mix with all the colours in the collection. I had some heart-shaped, big heart-shaped red sequins. And then I had some blue ones, pink ones, iridescent. Um, some like, look like raindrops. Just a bunch of them, a mixture. And I sewed my first tag. Sorry for the glare, like I said. But yeah, then there's this one. Again, I didn't cut this one because it had the outline with the glitter and I didn't want to ruin that. Um, this EXO one, they, they, they get bigger in size, obviously. Um, I love this piece. I've actually heard that a lot of people don't like the blue in the Lala Love collection. I absolutely love the blue in it. I just think it gives it a bit of a kick that some Valentine Day, Valentine's Day collections need. But yeah, that one's that. Then this one is a to and from again. This actually isn't from the Lala Love collection. This is from a sticker book that I bought from for Christmas. And I think, I don't know if it's from the Merry Days collection, but it just worked really well. So I used it. And then for this one, I made a little shaker. Again, sorry for the glare, sorry guys. I made a little shaker with the All Heart Polaroid frames. And just put the I love you the most, some jemmies and a heart. Then this one is just the sweetest with a little doggo. Um, and this is done with the specialty paper. This actually has like a velvety suede effect on the polka dot. And then lastly, I made her some rosettes that she can use for her packaging. So I made her a blue one that says I love, love you. And then one with the strawberries paper and this other one that's 
you know, the whole ephemera piece and the chipboard takes over the rosette, but I just thought it was really nice. And I packaged it up in this little bag that I reused and put it in the very back of the tag flip. So yeah, that's the first thing I made for her. Then I'm going to go with this because this is actually the first thing she will see when she opens her package. This is her letter. I obviously won't show you what's written inside, but I will show you the kind of letter and how I've prepped it. So I've made her a clipboard. This is um, one of my first clipboards. And I just think it looks really nice with that specialty paper. And then just with this heart, um, love heart paper backing this side. I used an AliExpress Bulldog clip and then I made her a dangly charm thing. I've used, for the charms, I'm trying to be in frame here, guys. I've used a little silver envelope just because it's mail. You know, I thought that'd be nice. And then two little beads that I wire wrapped. I'm still learning how to wire wrap, guys. It's actually much harder than I thought it'd be. I put this little tiny, teeny, meeny, weeny tassel. And then I did put two little mini hearts. Can you see that? These are so cute. I put one at the top and one at the bottom. And I think that kind of finishes it off really, really nicely. And then for the card, I made her a little um, um, shaker envelope. Now, I don't know how to sew like i said i don't have a sewing machine so i didn't want to go crazy and start sewing an envelope because i didn't think it would work out turns out maybe i should have because my double-sided tape is showing a lot but you know you craft and you learn i guess so this is my first shaker envelope ever hopefully i'll get better um for the next few ones but i really want to make more of these because i think this is really sweet i made the actual like top bit of the envelope i made it a shaker with the same shaker mix with a mate with the same sequin mix sorry that i used for the tag and the little polaroid shaker and then i just decorated it a little with some jemmies and a heart and an xo thicker and then i made her this card which is just backed onto some white card stock. I used some 12 by 12 paper to decorate the front and then just use some ephemera pieces and a little bit of a chipboard. So yeah, that's going in there. And then I will be using a wax seal that I've made to seal this off. And then it'll go like this and that will be at the top of the package. I think it looks really nice. Next up, I want to show you another of my favorite projects. This isn't actually um, packaged up um, like it will be because I wanted to show you, so I've left it open. But this is a little bookmark that I've made. So this has been inspired by a couple um, crafters. I think, I think one of them is Sweet Crafty Girl. Um, I'm sure everybody knows Sweet Crafty Girl, but if I figure how YouTube works, I'll try and link her down below. And then I saw something else from another um, crafter, but I saw it on Instagram and I can't remember who she is or her Instagram name. But basically, instead of having hearts, she had like balloon shaped pieces and then Sweet Crafty Girl, did like a series of hearts one next to the other just as an embellishment so i thought i could do a mixture of both and make them a little um bookmark i used a few papers from the collection i made another shaker that i did sew again on the sides and then i used some more trim to just make it look like some heart balloons and i used that silver trim again that blue trim again and then this little sparkly trim, this is so cute. And then I used this lace too, which is really sweet and delicate and dainty, it's lovely. So yeah, that's it. And then I've reused a plastic bag and I've done a bag topper with a little rosette. And what I will do is, before I send it off, I will just put this in here, throw a few, Sorry for the noise, guys. 
put this in there, throw a few sequins in there and just close it up and send it off. My next package for her is this little milk carton. This is a, a milk carton that I learned how to do based on a little quick, I think it's a Reels or an Instagram TV tutorial by We Are Memory Keepers, I think. So yeah, I've just decorated this little um, peg thin clip with a little heart from the chipboard, from the, sorry, cardstock stickers. And then I've done a little, this is coming off a bit, I'll have to restick that, just a little trim and banner piece and then just decorated it with you know love you lots and a few things i used some thread i saw cheryl gerard do this and i thought it was really good she does it with silver thread but i don't have any of that so i did it with what i have but yeah other than that i just it's got some um shred in there already but basically i just got them some heart shape bath bombs and there's a couple of them in there and I've just put that in there and I'm going to clip that back up and yeah and that's it. I then got them a couple of hard shaped um, sweets but yeah another little bag topper with those two little sweets in there. I also got them this, well I made them this, this is a little bag that I got from AliExpress, it's very bright and pink, I don't know if you can appreciate in the video. I decorated it again, did the same thing with the thread, and then in here I've just put a little mask for them, so she got some strawberry one, moisturising mask in here, thought that'd be nice, and... So this is here, okay. And then another thing I did for them is a little sequin mix that they can use for anything that they wanna do. And then I just literally made that little decor at the top of it. Um, nothing too extra, just a little tiny sequin mix. But I thought she'd be able to use it and that's nice to receive. And then lastly, I made them, each of them, a fortune cookie. So that's got a little message for her and I hope it really cheers her up. So yeah, that's the first project. I hope this video isn't extremely long because I've got another part of it. Maybe I should do a part one and part two, I don't know. We'll see. Let me move this out of the way so I can show you my other project. So, a lot of these things are very, very similar. I'll start off with this because this one has been packaged up. This is the equivalent to the bookmark that I made for my other friend but I made it with the colours matching this project but yeah this is how the other one will look like when it's all packaged I've put a bit of sequins in there and I've closed this one up so I can't actually show you but this is her bookmark I also made her a little carton this is exactly the same it's got the same bath bombs in there but just the decor outside's a bit different. She's got the You've Got My Heart. The Jemmies are in a turquoise minty colour. Little heart there. And then I've done the threading um, again here in a white colour. Her little sweeties, just like the other one. It says you're so sweet. I think that's really nice because it's a little sweetie. This is her um, card like the other one. I did the clipboards exactly the same. A little charm set, I don't know how you call these, um, is again with the envelope. It has the two hearts again, the little mini teeny weeny hearts. She's got a white tassel instead of that bright pink one and her wire wrapped beads match her colour combination. And then her envelope also has a shaker um, with her little sh um, sequin mix and then some jemmies and again the XO and a heart that matches her colour. See this is an iridescent heart, it's beautiful guys. I would have a million of those, I would use them in every single project. And then this is her little card, really like the glittery pieces, so so nice, so sweet. But yeah this is her mask so that's her little little envelope and this is her 
face mask, a Damask Rose Moisturising and Skin Glow Mask. Hope she likes that. Um, then this is her fortune cookie. Another message in there for her. Pink enamel dots for her, matching the colours. Her little sequin mix. This is a lovely sequin mix. I love this mix. Oh, I don't know if you can see that well because of the glare, but look at that sequin mix. And then this is a little top that I've made for her. And then finally, I think this is the last thing I need to show you. I've made her a little um, charm box. Is that how you call them? Or embellishment boxes. Um, this is a bit of everything in it. This is for my crafty friend. So she does craft. And I thought, I've just recently ordered a few things from AliExpress. I thought it'd be really nice if I made a little box with a few bits and bobs for her. So this is the box. Um, I put some bits and bobs there with some thickers and hey sweetie, so sweet, love you. All of those nice messages. A little iridescent heart there, the jemmies. And then I did the outside with some pom-pom um, trim. All in all, I think it looks really nice. And this is what it looks like in the inside. This is, I put a little piece of paper here that is actually meant to go on here, but it's just so these things don't kind of like mess up. But yeah, first I made her some little, um, what do you call these clips? I just put that little glitter heart from the foam stickers on them. And I really like that. I think it's really cute. I think I put either four or five in there that she can use for further um, crafting or for you know presents or whatever she may want to use them for I know she's recently got herself a cropper dial and she doesn't have many eyelets because she bought the cropper dial that comes with the eyelet so I think she's got some silver ones and some gold ones but she doesn't actually have some of the wide ones and this is one it matches with the collection and two it just goes with everything and it's a really sweet color I think she can make really cool stuff with these eyelets so i've given her quite a few i think there's about 12 in there not like crazy amount but enough for her to start making a few projects i then also gifted her some charms so i gifted her some of those envelopes and i also well let me just put that up there yeah that's much better so those little envelopes silver envelopes and these little sweet shaped charms this is so cute i've gifted it all oh, sorry i've gifted her all the kind of like silver charms because she much prefers silver to gold so i thought i'd gift her the only silver charms i have which are those i then picked up a few of these paper flowers and these are really sweet i only picked them up for her and now i regret not picking some up for me they're really cute because they're really small and beige which goes with everything and i mean some of them have a better finish than others but they're very very sweet so yeah, i'm really happy with those if i manage to find some another time at the store i'll definitely pick some up for myself then i also got her these beads i call them winter beads i got these from ali too and um i got them in a few different colors for her um, I also had like a mauvey pink and maybe another colour, I can't remember now, but um, I just think these are the colours that she's going to use the most and it actually matches really well with the collection. But yeah, I thought I'd gift her oh, sorry, a few of those and then I made her some brads. So I bought some cabochons. These are like, um, um, like a pastel, very, very, very pastel pink, almost beige colour and they've got an iridescent iridescence sorry um finish on the top it makes it look like a gemstone it's just beautiful and i backed it up to some um silver brads that i had that are actually made for this I just put the cabochon the flat back on the cabochon thing i think that's what you call them anyway um but yeah i made a oh sorry i'm out of frame i made a bunch of these for her and i think they looked really sweet so i've ordered more of these flat packs to make different types with um, like charms and brads and stuff like that. And then here I've just made her a bunch of wire wrapped beads. These took me about freaking forever. So um, I've only managed to make about 
10 of the bigger one and like six of the smaller one. I can't really remember, but not that many. Um, but yeah, I made a few of those that she can use to make her own charms. Maybe if she wants to mix them with um, some of these that I've also gifted her. You know, she can do her own little combinations if she fancies that. So that's that, my little embellishment box slash charm box slash bead box. <laughs> and that wraps up this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back to watch more of my videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.